this video I would like to demonstrate how to create AWS Lambda functions in JavaScript. Uh, Lambda provides Node.js environment so we can create function in JavaScript. Uh, just go to the services and uh, select Lambda here and then go to create function button and just click it after that we have here options we can create from scratch or use some blueprint we will be creating from scratch so we will just name the function I just call it test function and uh, select a run, run time so no GS uh, expand change the default execution role and here are some options you can create a new role with basic lambda permissions or use the existing role you just can leave it here check to create new role but uh, it takes some time so I will switch to use an existing role just to speed up the process and I use my role I used before and then just hit create function so here um, we can go a little scroll down and here we have a function code right here and an editor is a handler handler is the me method that will be run when function is invoked so the runtime will pass some arguments to this function currently here mentioned just event but there will be also event is uh, the argument they will hold information about invoker and there will be another argument that we can just say here context argument it will hold info information about function about um, execution environment about invocation and here uh, there is a sync so this uh, is a sync function but if it I, if it w uh, if it's not a, a sync function if it's non sync function that there will be the third argument callback function that sends a response or an error actually back to the invoker so we'll leave it as a sync and uh, we can leave uh, this part of the code that just create response and return this uh, response and then we can add here uh, some more like let's do console uh, log and let's look at event and we'll put event here to the console and let's look at the context also so we basically write here javascript code okay and now we can save it here and now we can invoke this function for that need go to this option select a test event and select configure test events and here we can leave this event template and we need to name event let's next event and this is what will be included I in event this object so we can leave it just like this and we'll expect it to be displayed on the console and here are actually like different templates that 
with different event information object in the event so we will stick to this hello hello world template with this uh, information we can change it like actually we can just add it like say key four and then just hit create so now we can just uh, test it with this button test here or from this editor so we can scroll up and see here that execution succeeded we can expand details and see the uh, in the first part in this small area it's what the function returned and if you scroll down we will see log output so here we have uh, event and we see all this uh, object is printed here and then context with some methods and properties that context has so you for example you can get the function name from here and we have C test function or some other properties or you can uh, call get the remaining time uh, in milliseconds I guess uh, so to get that and also here uh, if we a couple times we can go to monitor and here and here it will be some metrics about this function invocation so here not much but I think it's uh, maybe delayed a bit But anyway, you can get here some information about the uh, function invocation. And the last thing I will show you, some actions you can perform on the function. You can export it, create alias, publish. So, and then you can just delete function from here. So and that's it it's like very simple example how to start with creating function in javascript and thanks for watching and see you in my next video